Welcome back, Zero K fans, to Natalie and Zidane. I remain your host, again, as I think it's the fifth match so far, Chat of Fury 333, as we move on to Rar vs. Google Frog on Cooper Hill. Which is probably going to be a relatively short match because it's Cooper Hill. And Cooper Hill's a tiny map, which doesn't really tend to have long matches. Anyway, Rar is going for the Shieldbot Factory, Google Frog going for the Cloakybot Factory, and Rar, for those of you who haven't followed the game in a while, or just recently started playing, Rar is an old timer who loves the commanders. I expect to see them just upgrade their commander to level 4 or level 5 and just go for it, but against Google Frog, they might not. They might play a bit more of a conventional strategy. I'm not sure. I'm very curious. I do expect them to go for the more aggressive commander setup, though. That's normally what they go for. Anyway, with that said, we do have... Google Frog coming in very rapidly with a bit of harassment, scouting out things, and Rar not so much. Rar going for some defense, one bandit, not really building up beyond that. Google Frog going for immediate warrior, which I am not surprised by. That is a very, very small map strategy. It's not something you generally see early on, although it has gotten more popular recently. But for a map this size, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. What happened to the trees? Okay, sorry, I'm... Something weird with my trees. At any rate, Google Frog going for... Warriors. Probably a bit of a warrior... Ra no! Warrior Hammer. Rar, I'm not sure what they're going to go for here. They they are upgrading their commander. Have the machine gun and armor. So they're probably going to continue to upgrade the commander, as I would expect. And Rogue's coming in for... For Rar, so they have a pretty decent idea to counter Google Frog already. Google Frog going for the Lightning Rifle. Now, bear in mind that upgrading your commander to level 2 is not unusual. It's upgrading to, like, level 4, level 5. That's when it becomes weird. That's when it's something where you go, Okay, you're going heavy on the commander. That's all you care about. And Rar indeed is doing a strategy of units on commander. And commander is morphing, so Rar is playing their normal way. Get a few units supporting the commander. Get basically everything from the shield bot supporting the commander. Send the commander out. Play it like an old school computer RPG. Because that's... well, that's how some of them work. We have your party and it comes in. Okay, I should be... I should be more honest. I'm thinking more like Gene Forge. Really, really, really old spiderweb software RPG that you can get on Steam, actually. Really neat game. You essentially build up stuff as you go. But, yeah, that's what's making me think of. Because it's just units around a single hero. That you're building up for that one hero. Rar's commander, however, is being a little bit over-aggressive, and I don't think there's any storage that Rar has built, so... Yeah, not much economy either, so the commander is really all they have going for them to keep this going. If the commander dies, that's it, and the commander already not in a great spot. At the same time, though, some harassment coming in here, not hugely powerful harassment. I mean, the bandit's doing a fine job getting rid of metal extractors, but that was a plus one metal extractor. Google Frog didn't lose too much by losing that, especially since the band is now gone, so there's not much else that can actually be done to stop this expansion. Having said that, did it kill- Oh, it killed the Conjurer. Never mind. That was totally worth it. The Conjurer died. Google Frog, losing the Conjurer is the bigger deal. That's the thing I gotta point out, and always, always, whenever it comes up, in general, you always want to kill the workers. If the worker dies, you're in a much better position. Because if the worker is dead, they can't expand. I have to spend another minute or so getting the worker up and then putting it back into position, and then building up more metal extractors. So you keep that area unexpanded far longer than if you just break the expansions. If you break the expansions, they get rebuilt immediately. But if you break the worker, then it takes a while to get that going again. So always go for workers as high priority. Anyway, RAR in a bit of a tricky situation right now. They have nothing repairing them. They are Their commander's taking a fair bit of damage. They do have quite a bit of auto repair. Plus 25 per second, which isn't bad, but Google Frog can easily get a scary army to deal with that. At this point, though, Rar with a slight economic advantage does not have as much production. They have some. They have a convict helping the factory, so they aren't really getting into too much trouble. And where the heck did that reclaim come from? Okay, well, Rar apparently just got a massive amount of reclaim in a hurry. I don't even know where that could have come from, but... Because their commander only has, what, 20 build power? 10 build power, not even. At any rate, Rar right now, managing to break the hill. Managing to break the hill. There we go. That's what they need to do. Rar needs to break. If Rar can get to that high ground, 
Rar can take the hill. Rar can manage to get rid of some of this energy here as well. And not die. That's the key thing here. They need to not die. They have a fair amount of power. They have beam laser and a machine gun. They've gotten the hill, and Google Frog lost the high ground, but at the same time, taking out the main base. There's nothing here to defend. The Shieldbot Factory is pretty much dead. Google Frog just needs to kill Rar's commander. I mean, Rar's commander is going to be difficult to deal with. A couple ticks are coming in, however, to help deal with this. And oh, not quite. Managing to get rid of the ticks. Not managing to get rid of anything else. But the Shieldbot Factory barely surviving. Does manage to survive that, but that was frighteningly close. So right now, Google Frog, not in the happiest of positions. They, I mean, they did manage to deal some damage. They did manage to get rid of a bit of Rar's economy. They did almost destroy the Shieldbot Factory, but they've lost the high ground, and Rar's now... Rar's not got a level 5 commander. Rar's not got a very tough commander to deal with. So I don't know what they can really do at this point. I mean, there are options, of course, but... At this point, Google Frog is... I'm sure not that happy with the situation. They do have an economic advantage, though. It's very slight, but it could work out. And they do have ticks as well, so if Rar pushes forward with their commander, it won't be enough. The tick doesn't deal enough paralysis damage to deal with the commander in one go. Two or three ticks would do it. One tick wouldn't be enough. Google Frog, however, managing to keep their base at least somewhat safe. So there is that. But Rar continuing to push in, continuing to get... Actually, getting back their economy, apparently. It looks like the Overdrive has managed to get them going. They haven't rebuilt this Metal Extractor, though. They need to do that. They want to win this game. They need to do that. And there's that tick going off. So Rar's commander has basically gotten an open door into Google Frog's base with that tick dead. There's no other ticks in play. There's not much else, really, that can be dealt with here. Google Frog has upgraded their commander a little bit to get a bit of a speed boost. And, of course, the HP boost. But it doesn't matter. Google Frog throwing in the towel. That is game. And... Rar has shown that commanders can still work, at least on the smaller maps like this. I mean, I'm not surprised. This is the sort of map where that can work. Because it's small. There aren't a lot of ways of getting around the commander. The commander gets the high ground, you're done. Or the person gets the high ground, and you're kind of done. So, relatively short. A little shorter than I expected it would be. So, I... This next match will be... Bit of a long one. The last match for tonight will be on Ravaged between Swordtail and Iken, so stay tuned for that. It'll be up in a couple moments.